still got a problem with my camera. It's the angle of which I'm shooting at. I've got an idea, uh, <coughs> but I've got I build it, so I will be doing that. And here it comes. See, as soon as I start talking, stop it. He can stop it if he wants to. He doesn't want to though. He wants to take notice, don't ya? You? you want to be taking notice of? Yes. Come here. Oh dear. Get up there. Come on. Get up there. Lie down. Lie down. Go to bed. Lie down. Go to bed. Lie down. You lie down there. You lie down there, you silly old man. You lie down there, you silly old man. He'll quiet down in a minute. Right. I said this before, but I'm going to say it again because it's been a long time since I've been doing this. You got Michael Soul and Michael Set. Yeah, oh, I've actually got very little left, but I've seen people tip this into the water. This is a softener, so as soon as you put your decal in here, it starts softening. Okay, for old stuff, actually probably preferable for very old stuff, but for new stuff. Because it started softening already in there, you're trying to pull it off of here and pull, pull it onto the model wing. What's going to happen? It's going to stretch. Now, it might not be noticeable to you or me, but when you look at the model, you think there's something wrong. And, and you, eventually, you'll notice that the round hole isn't round anymore, it's an oval shape. So, I would suggest anybody who's starting out, do not put your microsole or setting solution in the water. All I use for mine, and I've, it's never gone wrong for me, is a cold water, a little drop of hot to make it look warm, and a, one or two drops of washing up liquid, depending on how my drops come out with all. Oh, uh, another thing, decals. You got me here, you're cutting them up and you put them in the water and you turn to them over here and you get drops of water all over them. So don't keep your don't keep your decals near the water, keep them on the other side. Unlike me, what I'm doing now. The first two decals I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the big ones. So cut these in half because I only do one at a time. Right, what I do is put the face down in the water with the tweezers holding it under water. Give it a few seconds on that, uh, no more than 30 seconds because they'll, they'll just slide off and you'll be wandering around the water. Just as a, then I put them on the drying section, which, also, which is still wet, on the paint roller tray, just here like this. And then that can finish coming off the back end. As you can see, he's sat down now. He'll start coughing because I'm talking about him now. Anyway. Decaline, again. Uh, clean brush, a clean brush. With nothing on it, no solvents or anything like that, because that could uh, harm the decal. Look, we're going to place it, and uh, it goes in here, and just wet the area with the water from the tray, which is just soapy water, slightly warm, to do the job with. And you get your decal and hopefully it'll slide off and wet the thumb or finger before touching the de decal which I didn't do, I have now slide the decal on there, hold it with a brush and slide off the back in now that looks a bit big that does look big hmm from where it's supposed to go It looks awfully big.
Hmm. Good to the draw, isn't it? Very big. Oh well. Now I just use some setting solution. Again, if you didn't know, it's a toilet roll tube. Just the right size when you squash it up that you can put your two bottles in there. It gives you that bit extra stability, as you might say. Now I'll put this on here and uh, soften the deck all down a bit. Actually, I've forgotten to do something. So Once you've got your deck on, slid on into position, use a cotton bud or something and just like to roll it across the deck all, taking off the water and uh, so there's a lot of water on the, these decals are so big and thick, they are, but I don't think we're going to have trouble with these ones, unless it's laying down. I've got one part there that's it's it's going over one of the actuators on the um, actually I'm going to slide that over a bit more and I think that should go over let's check that out yeah yeah I've got them to go over an actuator um, I'm going to have to put some I know I'm going to have to use it. I'm going to use a setting solution. Don't use that that often. Put it on behind the decal. So we need that to sink down onto that there. And I'm going to do it with the rest of the decal as well. Just the whole thing. It's the aileron actuators on top of the wing. The deco has to go over the top of one of them and it really is high. Hopefully I can get this setting solution on here to really set it down on there. We'll see how that comes out. All right, we've got some stripes to go on here and some other stuff and I'll be back in a minute show you what I've done hi there just got it all done well I say just it's been drying the future on it about half an hour so it's nice and dry I've got all the decals on it it is actually quite quite nice uh, apart from and I, I blame Ravel de uh, decals for this this wing section here I don't know whether you could see it on here but from about here, just after the right into the roundel, I've got um, silver in, and it's, uh, it's on both of them, but not so bad on this wing, it's just this wing, it's got a really bad section here. Um, I tried to get it down, but it, it just wouldn't go, so I, uh, I put the billet and just give it a cut of future over the top. Uh, I put all the lining on it. I don't know whether you can see this down here. Let me try and go in. Don't know whether you can see that, but I've got the red lines on there and all the other bits and pieces on underneath the wings. The plane's all done as well there. And the registration mark really nicely came out even though I had to put the double decal on this with a red spot on it actually turned out really well on that um, as I said the wings come out not too bad that wing that piece down here has got a small tiny amount of silver in couldn't get rid of it but this side here you can see it there you can see it there all Silver, that bit there, uh, I couldn't get rid of it. I tried and tried and tried. It just, it just wouldn't go. All the rest came out really nicely. It was just that one bit on the wing there, and there's a one side and the other side's got the bombing bits on it. There we go, as you can see there. Uh, now on, 
got a little bit of welding to do which is basically the wheel wells I'm not putting the bombs in I'm gonna actually permanently fix this bomb bay up I was gonna have it open but I decided not to now <laughs> 